you know, Google's had its stops and starts uh, as it's pertained to LLMs and Gemini, um, the first version. And then they had a bunch of different releases. And then they had some people call out that some of the demos weren't. This time around, the Gemini 2.0 updates, I think uh, they did better. I think they were more cautious. They've been more careful. And the results so far have been really good. And this is an improvement that's going to work on your desktop. It's going to work on your phone. Um, and I think so far we're, we've seen some pretty impressive changes that have come with it. Um, first of all, Pat, one of the things that everybody's up against right now is multimodal. We're seeing the interest and excitement and enthusiasm with OpenAI and Sora. Well, Google is heading down that path with, you know, uh, video models. Um, of course, with Gemini 2 being able to handle more um, native image processing, audio processing, uh, being able to do process conversion. I mean, we are seeing kind of some of the stuff Google's doing with Notebook LM as well. They're, they're starting to integrate all this stuff. And let's be candid. I'm starting to see, Pat, some of these notes that Google is going to pull away and maybe OpenAI is in danger. And why is this? Is because Google has the best video training set on the planet with YouTube. Um, not to say that OpenAI didn't train its Sora model with YouTube, but they weren't supposed to. So that's a, that's that's going to be a really interesting thing there. But I see... Um, that they're going to be able to, to put these things together and um, be able to really drive some growth and some more positive sort of uh, market sentiment about Google's play. Because Google's been kind of like the third or fourth name for a while. I mean, it just hasn't been the top name in LLMs or in, in AI, despite its AI prowess that I often talk about it, uh, with the business and the silicon layer. The other thing is we're starting to see better integration. And this is one, of, again, kind of where I was just alluding to but the integration of Google uh, and all the other apps, all the other data, all of its other ecosystem with what it's trying to do with LLMs is starting to come together here. So we're seeing it in their workspace. Uh, we're seeing it with, you know, which includes their documents and slides and meet. Um, and then of course, Pat, and, and I'll kind of turn it over here to you, but um, the benchmarks, everything just looks better. So there was a number of generation to generation benchmarks. And from what I can see between uh, one and then 1.5 and then two is that the performance of the Gemini 2.0 is meaningful and puts it much more parity with some of the other models from OpenAI and Anthropic. Uh, and so a lot of improvement in a short period of time. And I expect Google to continue to rise in this space. Yeah, Google invented generative AI. They had the a seminal research paper on it. And somehow they tripped three times uh, before they, they brought something out that was relevant and people didn't make fun of. I mean, BARD 1.0, the demo is so bad it was removed uh, and you cannot find any, any evidence of that uh, out there. Uh, BARD 2, uh, was uh, really horrible and would give you responses. And people said there was a lot of political motivations that, that went into that. And they did a mea couple, mea couple, mea couple, mea culpa number two. <laughs> and then they went in and did uh, Google Gemini 1.0 that had, you know, um, on that there. Was that that I mean, that I mean, like, give me a break. I mean, historically, like, inaccurate uh, stuff. And then everybody made fun of them. And my posit was that this really impacted uh, how people looked at not only the developers, all of the developers. You know, could they really trust Google to have a service that would give them relevant uh, uh, advice? And you know, I think they went about six months, nine months without, you know, doing something that everybody made fun of. And what really struck me was, again, I didn't run these these market market share numbers. Uh, it's from Open Router AI, but it said that market share amongst developers went from five percent in September to fifty percent market share uh, last week. And by the way, let's just say it's going uh, from five to 25. That is absolutely monumental. And I think we are starting to see the shift uh, in not only the quality, but the cost um, and the accuracy of the output 
that uh, that comes out there. And let's not forget that Sergey, right, one of the co-founders, essentially came in and started working, you know, full time, uh, coming back and motivating troops. Um, and I just I, I love, you know, Dan. Two years ago, we said this is going to be a marathon, not a sprint. Um, I don't, you know, I've seen some people say that this is where Google makes their move and, and moves it forward. Um, I, I'm not there, right? I think this, I think we're going to see back and forth and in, in competition. We also can't uh, forget that uh, Microsoft is, is essentially the leader in all, all productivity data. Um, it has a very good toehold into enterprise application data. Uh, it, it's Windows servers on-prem hold a tremendous amount of enterprise information. Um, and, you know, I don't see how Google overcomes that uh, uh, at, this, at this point. On the consumer side, you know, we'll see. I, I'm super impressed even doing Google searches and what these little uh, previews uh, kick out. It's actually good. It's super and sticky. People are already there. I find myself on simple queries doing a little bit more on Google versus starting with uh, starting with perplexity. So I'm N equals one, uh, and probably you know I'm actually signed up for the uh, Chat GPT Pro, right? The 200 bucks a month that uh, I'm trying out. I, I don't consider myself a normal a normal user, but uh, at a minimum, the winds are pushing in the Google direction here. Yeah, no, you hit it on the head. I think a lot of progress has been made. I mean, I don't know about you. I'm getting a ton of media calls about like the possible breakup and the spin of Chrome and what's going to happen with Google. And, you know, I, I, generative AI is going to completely upend search. So the question is, can Google maintain its leadership? And I mean, I think the progress they've made being able to put generative inside of search, it's powerful. I mean, we certainly didn't see Bing's uh, chat GPT integration move market share. It just didn't happen. Yeah. And so they have a good moat. Um, but we have seen how fast chat GPT has grown. 